fan mail. For fan mail, folks, give us a call. We actually featured our first fan feature voicemail last week. It was our boy Scotty. And uh, you can call in and get your voice featured at 754-CALL-LOG, 754-225-5564. It's super easy, super fun. But our fan mail today actually comes from Facebook, our Mostly Superhero Squad. A new member, we got our welcome to the crew, Rebecca S. Welcome to it. She threw out a great question, and a few of us had some comments here. We're talking about, uh, really, the Infinity Saga into WandaVision, MCU Town. She asks, how was the government able to take Vision's body if vibranium is so rare and sacred to Wakandans? I love this question. I'm kind of looking at you, Giggler, on this one since it's more MCU Town. Um, but, you know, it's a good question. Spoiler alert for WandaVision, but, you know, the, the government ends up with Wand- with Vision's body. And it is mostly made of vibranium. They were in Wakanda at the time of Infinity War. I thought this was spot on. I was like, how did S.W.O.R.D. get their hands on it? So we, we threw out some options here. Uh, I commented back, said, great question. You know, I, I thought maybe War Machine was involved. He was working with the government at the time. Um, or maybe the Avengers even took him just to see what they could do and try to help him out. Because at the end of Infinity War, the main Avengers were still alive there. Like Steve Rogers, Natasha. You would think they'd speak up and be like, Vision comes with us. Because yeah. he's an Avenger. Um, Scott, our boy Scotty, he wrote in and said, I'm sure it has something to do with the Sokovia Accords and the fact that Vision was an American. Uh, the Avengers were left, likely brought him home. So that could have been it. And then Andy <laughs> commented, governments just be doing what they want, just like real life. It's so true. <laughs> Honestly, that's, I mean, I was joking, but that's also what I really think that might have happened. I don't know. Yeah, like the government just stepped in and seized him at a certain point, yeah. even if it was from the Avengers. I mean, it's still like five years from... Infinity War to Endgame, so a lot happened by the time Wanda. I mean, WandaVision's post blip, so yeah. many years had gone by. I don't know if you guys have any other thoughts and or theories on this one. I think we kind of flushed it out, but wanted to feature it. See if you had anything else. You never know what you're going to see in a future. It could be in Wakanda Forever movie. It could be in the Wakanda show. Just never know. Yeah, we might get that story eventually. And you know, I already said spoiler alert for WandaVision. I'm glad we brought this back to the forefront because I am predicting that we will see this white vision come back in a big way and have an impact on Wanda's future actions. I mean, you don't build up for what is it? Was it six or eight episodes? Eight, right? Yeah. Nine. Nine? WandaVision was nine episodes. I don't think you build for nine <laughs> episodes and just oh, white vision just out there just living life. Yeah, he's like, you know, it's everything's all white. All right, let's move all, on. After all that. right or all white? <laughs> yeah, it was all white. You all heard right. it. You heard that all white. Right. Um, Rebecca, thanks for the comment. We love getting stuff like this featured on the show. Great question. Gets the brain working, and uh, you too can be featured. Just go join that Mostly Superhero Heroes squad on Facebook. It's free. It's exclusive. And once you're in, it's private, so you can kind of let your opinions fly. <laughs> Political opinions, if needed. <laughs> yeah, I do monitor the the uh, the posts, so we'll see. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. We'll, I'm not running a dictatorship here. We can run it. All right, let's talk about some news. 